Nearly every Wednesday between the months of June and August, the Santa Cruz Big Trees and Pacific Railway operates the Mount Hermon Special, a charter train which operates from Mount Hermon, just above Felton where the normal beach trains depart, and goes all the way to Santa Cruz. The train departs Mount Hermon in the morning, almost an hour before the regularly scheduled beach train, full of campers bound for the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. It's just after 9 a.m. as the Mount Hermon Special prepares to back out of Felton Yard and up the hill to the Mount Hermon Conference Center to load its passengers. Today, the train consists of two coaches and seven open cars, powered by X Santa Fe CF7 number 2600. The railroad owns two CF7 locomotives, number 2600 and her sister, number 2641. The railroad frequently alternates which locomotive powers the beach train, leaving the extra locomotive to power the charter. Having loaded its passengers at Mount Hermon, the train begins its trip down to Santa Cruz. Due to road construction, Highway 9, which follows the route down to Felton, was closed, making it nearly impossible to get shots on the hill. Here, we pick up the train at Encinal Street just as it enters Santa Cruz.
only about a mile and a half from the boardwalk, the train passes through a street running section down Chestnut Street. After turning on the Y at Santa Cruz, the train backs over Pacific Avenue and down the center of Beach Street on its way to unload its passengers at the boardwalk. After pulling into the boardwalk, the train unloads its passengers. Now, the train heads back light to the Santa Cruz Y, where it will wait for the regularly scheduled beach train.
as 2600 pauses at the Y. 2641 passes through the Potrero district, only a mile and a half away from the Y with the beach train. The fog in Santa Cruz has finally burned off as 2641 enters the Y with the beach train. The 2600 has cut four cars off of its train. It will back them up and connect them into the beach train so the beach train has more cars during the day's runs. Once the cars are connected and the air test is complete, 2600 cuts off the train to pick up the remaining cars from the charter. In the background, 2641 can be seen taking the beach train through the Y so it can back into the boardwalk. The tracks that the trains are currently on are actually part of the Santa Cruz and Monterey Bay Railway, which runs 32 miles from Watsonville to Davenport. Due to the closure of the cement plant in Davenport, the line, more commonly known as the Santa Cruz branch, is mostly inactive today. At one time, Union Pacific, earlier Southern Pacific, interchanged lumber cars with Santa Cruz Big Trees and Pacific at the Santa Cruz Y bound for the lumber yard in Felton.
After departing the Y, the 2600 shoves the remaining four cars onto the interchange track. This was the interchange track that was used by trains from the Santa Cruz branch to interchange cars with the big trees in Pacific. Now, having cut off the cars on the interchange track, 2600 heads back to the Y light. This operation is being done to turn the locomotive on the Y, thus facing it long hood forward for the return trip to Felton. With the long hood now facing northbound, 2600 heads back to the interchange track to pick up the remaining cars for the return trip to Felton. Now coupled up to the remaining cars, 2600 begins her trip back on home rails to Felton. After the switches line behind the train, 2600's work in Santa Cruz is done for the day. We hope you have enjoyed this look at the Santa Cruz Big Trees and Pacific Railway's Mount Hermon Special. If you liked this video, please subscribe to Tree Frog Flag Productions on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. <laughs>